YouTube, we're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? And this week, we're doing a punishment for a sports bet that I made last week. So this week, we're going to call it the Homegrown Pepper Challenge, the Yellow Baruga Scorpion Edition. And uh, this will be my punishment for the bet that I made last week on Manny Pacquiao versus Jordanis Ugas. And, uh, you know, I got to say... That was disappointing to see. Uh, Manny is a spectacular boxer and he has done many spectacular things over the years. And he's defied uh, bother time for a long time. But um, it seems last week, Manny Pacquiao got old. I mean, he's been showing signs of it for years. Um, I, I talk to one of my viewers, Joshua, all the time about uh, boxing. And uh, when the fight was originally supposed to be Spence versus Pacquiao, um, you know, I thought Pacquiao was going to get destroyed by him because I just didn't think he could do it. Uh, and it's no knock against Manny. You know, it's more of a thing that he's 42, 43. Uh, it's more of that. And the fact that even though at the time he was showing that he was degrading, uh, he still showed he could do things. But my thing was, is that even when he won his last fight uh, against Thurman, um, he couldn't do his thing for an entire three minutes. He could do it in spurts, he could do it for parts of the round, but he couldn't do it for three minutes. Now, against Thurman, it was enough, and he was able to have a spectacular win. Um, but guys like Spence Crawford, that, you know, that's not going to work. Uh, those guys are going to go the full round. And, uh, you know, Manny could be great in spurts. And maybe he could give them trouble. But I just didn't believe that he would have enough to, to win against those guys. And I think he might even get destroyed by them. So I thought it was a blessing in disguise that the fight changed because uh, Spence got hurt. Uh, but your, your Dennis Ugas was too much for Manny as well. Uh, Manny had a great start. And then he got old. It seemed like he got old in the middle of the fight. Uh, he lost his legs, he lost his ability to get inside, he, he lost the ability to control the fight, and uh, ultimately started eating a lot of shots, and, uh, you know, lost the decision, and uh, there was no controversy, uh, he clearly lost the fight, the, the second half he was clearly blanked, uh, and it's sad to see, and I don't want to see him keep doing that, uh, because you don't want to tarnish your legacy with a bunch of terrible losses at the end, because, you know, you think you still got it. Uh, some guys like Bernard Hopkins were able to do it until they were 48. They're a true special gift. Um, Manny Pacquiao doing it to 42, he's a true special gift as well. But uh, you got to be real, man. You know, he's got one fight left maybe. I think it should be at home in the Philippines. It should be a big fight. But, you know, he shouldn't be fighting any of these top dogs. He'll get killed now. And that fight was evidence of that. And that's why I have to pay the price today by eating one of these peppers. Yes, my home grow uh, collection is getting bigger. I showed it to you last week. You guys saw what I had then. This is everything I have now minus what I cooked with this week, which was about eight peppers. I think I used about eight. Uh, so yeah, this is everything I've got right now. And uh, I'm going to be making Maruga Scorpion sauce tomorrow, which is the yellow peppers here. Um, and these, uh, I got these chocolates down here, like this one. Oop, let's try to pull it out without knocking everything over, like that one. Yeah, like I got chocolates like this one. So that's a, that's a chocolate Maruga scorpion. And I also have chocolate Gula scorpions in there. So I'm going to make a, a scorpion sauce tomorrow that's mostly going to be yellow with these beauties. And they really are stunning. Look at them. So, yeah, that's exciting. Um, these are going to be great to have. So, but I did say I was going to eat one. So I'm going to take this guy here. He's not overly huge. He's not overly small. Kind of a middle size. This is a big one. This is the one I'm going to have. So, see, big one, one I'm going to have. Like, it's not the biggest one. It's not the smallest one. That's one of the smaller ones. Or that one. So... I told you guys I would do one of the ones that I had last week that was, you know, at the time they were not huge. And, well, this is on par with that. I, I cooked those ones last week. So, yeah. 
I promised you guys I would do a Pepper of Manny Pacquiao lost, and he did lose. And I'm not going to back out. I'm not going to complain. And I'm not going to be a wimp. Because for Manny Pacquiao to be as great as he was, he faced a lot of challenges that were scarier than this. And uh, he never backed down. And that's why he won, I believe, eight titles or nine titles in different divisions. Uh, he's truly a legend. And even though he lost, all the respect in the world for the heart of a champion that Manny Pacquiao has. And uh, that's why today I'm going to be motivated to do this like a champ because uh, Manny Pacquiao shows no fear even at 43 years old. All right, let's take the stem off. I'm going to cut it open and make sure the inside is good. And if it is not, then I will do a different pepper. And I'm also going to take the seeds for my next giveaway. The inside is good. So let me just take out some seeds real quick. Okay, I got my seeds out. I'm saving as many as I can. Actually, let me like, just get these out of the way. I've already saved some from a couple that I cooked, well, well, from the peppers I cooked with this week, as you can see here. So let me just get these ones and put them somewhere safe so I don't knock them around or anything. I put some of the placenta that I cut off back into the pepper. I just took the seeds. I'm not cheating. The seeds are not the hot part. It's the walls of the inside of the pepper. Okay. Oh, there's a couple seeds laying there. Let me just knock those out. Yeah, I want all the good seeds. I'm going to grow these again for sure. These are very pretty peppers. So there you go. The placenta is still there. There's a piece that I knocked off. It's, uh, it's in this one here. And wow. I don't know if you guys could tell, but right in here, you can see that oil just pooled up. Yellow, beautiful capsaicin oil. Right there. It's all pooled up in the corner. All in the corner there. I don't know if you can see it or not. This is gonna be hot. Um, that's pretty yellow. It's pretty yellow oil. All right, well, like I said, I've got nothing to fear. Manny Pacquiao's a motivation to many. He's a great person. He's a great representative of the Philippines and he's a great representative for boxing and what being a champion is all about. And even though he lost last week, there was no shame in doing that at 42, 43 years old. And, um, you know, I just don't want to see the guy tarnish his career by doing that for too long. Uh, I'd like to see him have one more big fight I'd like to see it in the Philippines, and I'd like to see him retire. Um, but yeah, so here we go. This is the first pod I've eaten like this in like a year. May you all like, share, and subscribe, and uh, help this channel grow. And if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments. And um, let me know if you, uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a pick tomorrow for the Paul Woodley fight. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. If this is a nightmare today, I won't be back. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe we'll, we'll do that tomorrow. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a pick for the Jake Paul Howard Woodley fight. All right. No more babbling. Here it is. The yellow Maruga scorpion from a seed grown from a pepper originally given to me two years ago by Herpe Farms. Drew at Herbay Farms. Um, thank you, Drew. Thank you all. Like, share, subscribe. Here we go. Fruity. Very fruity and sweet. Here comes the heat.
Okay. Wow. So it starts off fruity and sweet like a bell pepper. And then the, oh, and then the heat comes roaring in. And it was burning on my gums around my teeth at first. But now it's picking up on my tongue in the back of my throat. Like a churning fire that's just doing this. Oh. Ah. And that's what happens when you pick the wrong fight. You make a bet on it. Oh, there's a price to pay. <laughs> and hiccups. Oh. It's a good pepper. It's good to make good sauce. That fruitiness is nice. Heat is good. It's like one and a half, two in the back of my throat. It's make, making me sweat. There you go, Pierre. It's like a two, two and a half. We got two and a half, three. I think it's peaked. That's what happens when you pick the wrong fight. Make sure you subscribe. Check out last week's video where I picked the wrong fight for this. Check out this random video here. We'll see you soon in another video. Thanks for tuning in.